السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین بوائز اینڈ گرلس ایک مرتبہ پھر خوش آمدید آپ کو ہمارے شو کرکٹ کلینک میں آپ کے ساتھ رابطہ نہیں ہو سکا پچھلے تقریباً ایک ہفتے میں اور اس درمیان کافی اپس اینڈ ڈاؤنز رہے ہیں پاکستان ٹیم میں یو نو ایٹ دا اسٹارٹ آف دا ٹورنامنٹ وی آر ایکسائٹیڈ وی ون ٹو گیمز آن دا ٹراٹ بٹ پھر آپ کو پتہ ہے اس کے بعد پھر ہماری کچھ لاسز کا سلسلہ اسٹارٹ ہو گیا ان میں سے ایک دو تو ایکسپیکٹیڈ تھی ان دا سینس دیٹ وی وو پلینگ اگینسٹ سم ریلی ٹاپ کوالٹی ٹیمس بٹ ایک دو تھوڑی کافی ہارڈ بریکنگ تھیں دا ون اگینسٹ ساؤتھ آفریقہ وی بی لاسٹ بائی ون وکٹ سو سو دس از واٹ کرکٹ از یو نو کبھی ہم جیتتے ہیں کبھی ہم ہارتے ہیں بٹ اس ایپیسوڈ میں ہم آپ کے ساتھ ایک تو ناؤ دیٹ ٹو گیمز آر لیفٹ ہم ڈسکس کریں گے کہ واٹ آر پاکستان چانسز کیا ابھی بھی ایک چانس کو ریئلسٹک نکل نظر آ رہا ہے کہ ہم سیمی فائنل میں جا سکتے ہیں اور اگر وہ ہے تو واٹ از دا بیسٹ سیناریو فار اس اینڈ ہاؤ ریئلسٹک از دیٹ سیناریو تو اس کو ڈسکس کریں گے سیکنڈلی ہم بات کر لیں گے دا لاسٹ ٹو گیمس سو ابھی بنگلہ دیش کی گیم ہم نے الحمد للہ جیتی ہے اور بڑے کنوینسنگلی جیتی ہے اور اس سے پہلے بھی آل دو وی لاس اگین ساؤتھ آفریقہ بٹ واز اے ویری کلوز گیم اے نیل بائٹر تو اس کو ہم ڈسکس کر لیں گے کہ کیا ہم نے پازیٹو دیکھے ہیں دا لاسٹ ٹو گیمس اینڈ واٹ آر سم آف ریمیننگ کنسرنس اور پھر ہم فائنلی بات کر لیں گے دا کروشل گیم آن سیٹرڈے وچ از دا پاکستان ورس نیو زیلینڈ گیم وچ کوڈ ویری ویل ڈسائڈ کہ ویدر وی اسٹے ان دس ٹورنامنٹ اور وی ایگزٹ تو پہلے بات کر لیتے ہیں کہ وے ڈو وی اسٹینڈ کیا کہیں گے میں اپنے پینل سے پوچھوں گا آصف اور مدثر یہ قدرت کا نظام آپ کو لگ رہا ہے یو نو دا لاسٹ تھری ڈیز seem to be you know just perfect for pakistan in terms of results starting off with the australia versus new zealand game we were hoping australia would win there was a time ke lag raha tha shayad new zealand chase kar le aakhri over mein takriban 10 11 run reh gaye the panch ballon pe but uh, thankfully for us new zealand lost uske baad we needed to beat bangladesh and we did that clinically in about 32 overs we chased it down so almost perfect performance over there aur fir uske baad aaj hum hope kar rahe the ke ساؤتھ آفریکہ نیوزی لینڈ کو ہرا دے بٹ آئی تھنک یو نو وی ونٹ ہیو امیجن کہ نہ صرف انہوں نے ہرایا بلکہ جس مارجن سے ہرایا آلموسٹ ٹو ہنڈریڈ رنس سو اباؤٹ ون نائنٹی اور رنس سے انہوں نے مارجن سے ہرایا جس سے ان کا نیٹ رن ریٹ بھی کافی نیچے آ گیا سو یو نو تھری ڈیز آن اے ٹراٹ پازیٹیو نیوز آفٹر پازیٹیو نیوز فور پاکستان کیا دیکھتے ہیں آپ ہم ایز وی اسٹینڈ رائٹ ناؤ اور کس طرح آپ آپ دیکھتے ہیں پراسپیکٹ فار پاکستان گوئنگ فارورڈ کون اسٹارٹ کرنا چاہے گا آپ لوگوں سے پنشمنٹ His punishment was that he was standing in a lake up to his neck. And anytime he would try to drink water, the water would flow away. And then he had low-hanging fruit above him. Every time he'd reach for the fruit, a gust of wind would blow it away. And when he'd relax, it would come back. So he was caught in this constant back and forth. That is where the English word tantalizing comes from. And if at this point in the World Cup, I were to choose one word for the Pakistan team, many words come to mind. My parents watch this sometimes, so I'm not going to use those words. Tantalizing is the word I would use. Because we came in thinking, we've got this, we'll be okay. And then everything started going wrong, kind of lost interest, said, all right, we'll move on to other things. This team drew us back in. This is what they do. This is how they do it. There's never anything easy. So the tantalizing way that Pakistan has played this World Cup has drawn us in. Um, I think, you know, look, the bottom line is you can only take care of what's in your control. We do what we need to do, and hopefully we'll be fine. If it falls our way, it does. If it doesn't, let's not. But the other thing to remember, and again, Harkening back way to the beginning, when I brought up the word perspective, look at how faded it is. It is so faded. You can barely see it. And I think that's emblematic of the fact that our fan base has actually lost perspective. In the middle of this tournament, you have people talking about taking Babur away, turning the board over, getting rid of these guys, getting rid of those guys. The tournament's not even over. And so that's not the way to go about doing this, you know? Um, let them play there. You know, we need to support them. We need to, you know, that's just the fan base that we are, but we need to support this team, no matter who is out there. I mean, you know, I've seen people where everyone is criticizing, get Fakhar out, get Fakhar out. He comes in, does well. Well, why wasn't Fakhar in before? So we need to keep cool heads about this. Our team knows what they're doing. The mission is right there in front of them. They know what to do. 
And um, I think we're in a good place. Remember I said we hadn't peaked yet. We're taking a long time, but we are slowly getting there. Um, I think we're in a pretty good position in a good headspace right now to move into the big, the next biggest challenge, which is New Zealand. Yes, absolutely. Now, uh, you know, the ball is in our, in our court. Mm-hmm. I'll take a little bit with it and I'll ask you a little bit about it. Because this today's game was South Africa versus New Zealand. Uh, you, you know, there wasn't anything that we could do. We were just hoping that South Africa and New Zealand would win. और अगर हरा भी देता है तो फिर भी हमारे टोटली कंट्रोल में बात नहीं रहनी थी बिकॉज़ इफ न्यूजीलैंड वर टू बीट श्रीलंका दिस वुड बी ऑल ओवर नाउ विद यू नो द मार्जिन ऑफ डिफीट अब वो इतना नेट रन रेट उनका हमारे करीब आ चुका है कि अब उस सिनेरियो के अंदर भी कि अगर न्यूजीलैंड श्रीलंका को हरा भी देता है हमें हमसे हारने के बाद लेट्स से फिर भी हमारे पास चांस रहता है राइट इफ इफ सो नाउ इफ वी प्ले एग्रेसिवली एंड विन बोथ teams with a with a good sort of net run rate to phir bhi hum qualify kar sakte hain mudassir kya kahenge aap overall uh, how do you see the path for us going forward you know uh, uh, thoda uh, tough hai uh, magar ye ke i think the turning points hai na jo mera khayal se uh, wo jo again wo thodi controversial hui hui jo umpire's call thi against south mm-hmm. africa agar wo match hum jeet jate to we would have been such a good shape right now mm-hmm. um to wo kafi usse na bahut uh, damage hua kyunki historically jo hamara qudrat ka nizam jo chalta hai pakistani team ke sath usme new zealand aur south africa ka bahut bada role hai to mm-hmm. new zealand is still trying magar ye ke south africa ne koshish ki magar wo umpire ne uh, mm-hmm. ne saath nahi diya to mm-hmm. yaar ab wohi tha ke ab hamare control mein hai nahi cheeze new zealand jis tarah दिस इज द बेस्ट परफेक्ट गेम फॉर पाकिस्तान बेसिकली के हारे भी और बड़े मार्जिन से हारे आई गेस वी जस्ट हैव टू प्ले आवर बेस्ट क्रिकेट इन नेक्स्ट टू गेम्स एंड अभी भी वेरिएबल्स हैं मगर दोज आर बियॉन्ड आवर कंट्रोल राइट राइट नो बट पहले तो ये था ना कि हम अगर दो जीत भी जाते हैं तब भी कोई गारंटी नहीं है न्यूजीलैंड जस्ट हैड टू विन अगेंस्ट श्रीलंका एंड दैट वाज इट राइट बट नाउ विद दिस मार्जिन ऑफ डिफीट अब एक तरह से हमारे कंट्रोल में फिर भी है बिकॉज़ रियलिस्टिकली पहले था कि जी आपको डेढ़ सौ रन से जीतना है अगेंस्ट न्यूजीलैंड टू हंड्रेड रन से जीतना है अगेंस्ट इंग्लैंड टू कैच अप विद न्यूजीलैंड नेट रन रेट अब यू नो इट्स इट्स विद इन दैट जो टेंटलाइजिंग आसे बात कर रहे हैं कि इफ इट कम्स डाउन टू नेट रन रेट यू नो इट्स नॉट समथिंग टोटली बियॉन्ड आर कंट्रोल राइट विल जस्ट हैव टू प्ले लिटिल बिट मोर अग्रेसिवली तो फिर भी देर देर सीम्स टू बी अ लाइट एट द एंड ऑफ द टनल आई मीन अगर आप हमसे तीन दिन पहले पूछते हैं कि भाई वट डू यू वॉन्ट वट सर ऑफ द ड्रीम outcomes so what happened what transpired in the last few days is almost close to perfection i yeah. hope australia and new zealand ko zara se aur margin se hara diya hota to aur behtar hota hamare liye but yeah. isse zyada to hum hum nahi kar sakte so um chale isme isme overall good news for us uh, keeps us in the tournament keeps us alive uh, of course the bangladesh game was very important for us after four losses ek tarah se ek demoralization bhi creep in kar jati hai but it was heartening to see ke both the south africa game where we really tried very hard you know uh, mm-hmm. gave it our our all especially the bowlers aur uske baad bangladesh mein to humne bilkul one sided kar diya to positive signs overall kya kahenge kya what were the sort of positives and and concerns that you found out in the last two games aap dono mein se koi isko bhai yaar mujhe mujhe lag raha hai ke kuch cheeze thi jo जहाँ एन एक्सपीरियंस हमें लगा कि टीम में सीनियर्स नहीं थे तो hmm. कुछ चीज़ें गिवन होती हैं वो हम लोगों को एशिया कप में ही नोट करना चाहिए था कि एशिया में आप यू के नॉट बोल के आप भागे जा रहे हो और एक ही पेस से बॉल करे जा रहे हो वेरिएशन इज द की फिर एक और चीज़ है कि एशिया में आप खेल रहे हो तो यू हैव टू इंक्लूड यू स्पिनर डिपेंडिंग ऑन कंडीशन जैसे हमारा एक जमाने में था कि इमाद वसीम से हम ओपन करा देते आमिर के साथ तो ज्यादातर ओपनर्स जो हैं स्पेशली जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया या सेना के जो ओपनर्स हैं दे कैन स्ट्रगल अगेंस्ट स्पिन और दीज आर द परफेक्ट कंडीशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पिच तो वो हमने मिस की हुई थी बॉलिंग में वेरिएशन नहीं थी तो ये नहीं कि लग रहा है कि टीम इज लर्निंग एज वी आर गोइंग जैसे शाहीन 
उनकी बॉल नहीं स्विंग हो रही मगर ही फाउंड अ वे टू गेट पीपल आउट ही इज लाइक अमंग द हाईएस्ट विकेट टेकर नाउ उसको एक दो गेम इन फैक्ट आज ही वो नंबर 1 रैंकिंग मिल गई उसको ही गाइस सो दैट मींस अ क्विक लर्नर ही फिगर इट आउट हाउ टू बोल ऑन दिस पिचेस कैप्टन भी लर्न कर रहा है कि क्योंकि अब वो हमारे पास ऑप्शन नहीं है मगर आइडियाज राइट कि इफ्तिखार से दो तीन मैचों में ऊपर बॉलिंग कराई उससे फायदा ही होता है कि आपके पेसर्स पे थोड़ा थोड़ा यू यू कैन पुश बैक रऊफ या वसीम को ताकि पावर प्ले में ज्यादा पिटाई ना हो और चाचा इज लाइक हैज द बेस्ट इकोनॉमी अमंग द स्पिनर्स ही इज गिविंग 4 5 रन्स और विकेट भी अच्छे ले रहा है तो टीम बेसिकली इवॉल्व करी और मेरी ओपिनियन है पीपल कैन डिसएग्री कि हमें लक हमारे साथ नहीं थी इस वर्ल्ड कप में एशिया कप में जिस तरह जो इंडिया ये क्यों कह रहे हो अभी भी है गो ऑन नो नो वी जो एशिया कप में ऐसा कुछ हुआ है कि जैसे बुराई नहीं आ जाती जो इंडिया के पहले मैच के बाद के इंडिया के आउट किए फिर 260 स्कोर किया उसके बाद से ना प्लेयर इनफिट होना शुरू हो गए प्लेयर्स आउट ऑफ फॉर्म होना शुरू हो गए इट्स जस्ट वियर्ड के कुछ लग भी ना हमारे साथ नहीं दे रही थी इतने अरसे चले अब अब वही लास्ट 3 डेज अच्छे गए हैं इनफैक्ट न्यूजीलैंड इज द टीम जो आप वो देखें ना आज जितने उनके इंजर भी हो गए और दे हैड एक्चुअली डिफिकल्टी फील्डिंग 11 प्लेयर्स टू फील्ड yeah so, I, i think there there are a number of positives that we can take from the last few days look first and foremost the attitude the body language you know you look of course you feel horrible that you lost to south africa that way but you've got to feel good about the way they played and you know look i've criticized babar for his body language before but kudos to him he stood up he took on the task and he led the guys i mean they played with fight this was the kind of match that way back was in the wasim wakar days when we would always come out winning i had no doubt that we were going to win and you know it's an unlucky a uh, call that that hurt us but in the end they played with the right attitude and when you have that body language that makes a big difference the other thing two more things i want to say about positives it's a team effort we're not dependent on one person you know there are a lot of teams that are dependent on one person succeeding you have abdullah shafiq scoring you have fakhar of course who came back in the last match osama had such a horrible dropped catch against uh, australia he's actually taken some good catches in you yeah, know bangladesh you know, made a second wicket really dishan he rebounded back Rauf played well at the death against South Africa. He had one LBW decision go against him. You know, talk about uh, Wasim Jr. who's come in and has been a breath of fresh air. He's taking wickets. He's building the pace. He's swinging the ball. Babar, I've been critical of his batting here and there, but the bottom line is he's not had a bad World Cup. He scored a few fifties. He's playing the anchor role. Um, you know, Shaheen Afridi has found his mojo back. He's taking wickets. So it's any number of guys. I haven't even mentioned Chacha and other people. Any number of guys have stepped up and and done the task. So we are. one person fails the other guy will step up it's the next man up and that's a huge thing that not a lot of the other teams have finally i, I want to say you know look i've talked about fakhar he deserved to be dropped he brought, he was brought back in like i said when fakhar is playing well this team has a demeanor it has a swagger it has an attitude of being you know we know we're a top team and it intimidates other teams I, you know who knows what he'll do in the next few games if he's playing but it makes a huge difference the just the 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 poise that the team shows when he's there he's a good fielder but just we feel comfortable and so i think it's such a great contrast between abdullah shafiq playing the classical attacking but really you know textbook shots and then fakhar changing it up lefty righty it just works beautifully so there's a lot of positives you know look if this fails and we don't win the world cup there's going to be plenty of time to criticize we can all sit there and take it all apart and dissect it but right now the tournament's ongoing we're doing some good things at the right time so let's ride that wave and see where it takes us bilkul bilkul now uh, the best we can do is the next two games have us may give it our best and trajectory achhi lag rahi hai jaisa aapne baat ki fakhar ki inclusion i think the break that we gave him you know helped him out i wish ke usko uh, i mean one can understand ke drop kyun kiya gaya tha because he had a lean patch but then to win against the likes of australia and india you need a player with an x factor right you can't just sort of rely on एक ही तरह के आपके यू नो इमाम और फिर बाबर का भी थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा एक्ट्राइक में मसला होता है तो एटलीस्ट यू नो ही ही गिव्स अस अपसाइड पोटेंशियल तो पॉजिटिव्स तो काफी हैं और एक बात आपने उसामा की थी उसामा ऑब्वियसली उसने अपनी फील्डिंग इंप्रूव की बट जनरली भी आई थिंक एक चीज जो हमें लैक कर रही थी अफगानिस्तान के अगेंस्ट हमारी बॉडी लैंग्वेज और फील्डिंग हमने काफी रन फील्डिंग से दिए फील्डिंग के अंदर लैप्स उस तरह के नहीं हो रहे कैचेस पकड़ रहे हैं so ek positive trajectory lag rahi hai um, obviously as fan we wish ke thoda sa earlier ho jata now mm-hmm. is stage pe na hota ke when we are pushed against the wall but at least chalo der se hi sahi but at least they are fighting it out um jo ek concerns reh gayi hain mudassir main aapse puchunga um ek to spin department jisse aapne identify kiya hai 
इसके बारे में हम क्या कर सकते हैं आई थिंक दिस दिस डिस्कसिंग ऑल थ्रू द वर्ल्ड कप के आप बाकी जिस भी टीम से आप कंपेयर करें यू नो टीम्स अगर आप लेफ्ट हैंड ऑर्थोडॉक्स की बात करते हैं सो न्यूजीलैंड हैज सैटनर साउथ अफ्रीका हैज महाराज बोथ यू नो बेटर देन वट नवाज हैज बीन परफॉर्मिंग लेग स्पिन में देखें तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया के पास जैम्पा है यू नो वी हैव शादाब एंड उसामा जिनके वो पेनिट्रेशन नहीं है फिर वी डोंट हैव अ चाइना मैन लाइक शमसी और नूर और कुलदीप सो वॉट आर आर बेस्ट ऑप्शन डू यू थिंक के हमें गोइंग फॉरवर्ड मे बी ट्राई द फोर पेसर्स ऑप्शन इफ इफ द स्पिनर्स आर डूइंग एनी थिंग जस्ट ड्रॉप द स्पिनर जस्ट हैव चाचा एंड मे बी हैव फोर पेसर्स इज दैट एन आइडिया या हम क्या कर सकते हैं इसके बारे में इज देर स्टिल अ चांस ऑफ इब्रार गेटिंग इन यार इब्रार का इज टू लेट इन्होंने दे डेंट हैंडल इट हिम वेल वो एशिया कप से नहीं खिलाया मेरा नहीं ख्याल कि अब दो गेम रह गए तो अब्रार मेरा नहीं ख्याल कि ये लोग खिलाएंगे उसको ऑफकोर्स को पहले खिलाना चाहिए था तो दैट्स नॉट एन इशू अब देखो ना दो गेम रह गए अभी तो एक है तो जो हमारे न्यूजीलैंड वाला गेम है वो बेंगलुरु में ठीक है तो बेंगलुरु जो है इट्स अ वेरी हाई स्कोरिंग ग्राउंड अगर याद हो तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया हमें थ्री सिक्सटी किए थे उसकी उसकी स्क्वायर बहुत शॉर्ट है और जब मैंने वो ग्राउंड देखा तो मैं सोचा यार फखर क्यों नहीं खेल रहा है इस गेम तो इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल ग्राउंड और इसमें स्पिन भी इतना ज्यादा नहीं है तो एक ऑप्शन ये है कि जो टीम लास्ट मैच में खेली है ना आई थिंक दैट्स अ बेटर कॉम्बिनेशन के बस मेरा ख्याल से ये दे कैन ब्रिंग बैक शादाब और सामा को ड्रॉप करें क्योंकि वो सिक्स वो ज्यादा वो भी सिक्सटी रन दे देता है एक दो विकेट तो शादाब के बोल से मिले तो he ended up bowling his first 10 overs so if if you keep wasim shaheen rauf three pacers iftikhar add shadab or and i like aga salman nawaz to bechara inhone usko use hi nahi karte to i think aga will be more better for the team wo chota ground hai they should hmm. play aggressive and aga can also agar shadab pit raha hai ya chacha pit raha hai to aga can also bowl four five overs so actually i like the the team which played against bangladesh ड्रॉप उसामा ब्रिंग बैच शादाब लुकिंग एट द वेन्यू बेंगलुरु बट आगा से उन्होंने बांग्लादेश के खिलाफ एक बॉल भी नहीं कराई सो यार ये मैं वही तो कह रहा हूँ खैर वो लंबी आपको पता है आगा सलमान इज अफिशियली डोमेस्टिक ऑलराउंडर उसकी विकटे हैं ही बोल्स रेगुलर ऑफ स्पिन चार्ज ही इज अ मोर रेगुलर बॉलर देन इफ्तार तो मुझे ये समझ नहीं आता कि हाउ डू वी डिसाइड के जैसे कुछ मैच हुए हमने इफ्तार को चार ओवर दिए नवाज को उसको आगा से बॉल ही नहीं कराई आगा को चार दिए इफ्तार को तो व्हाट दे कैन डू कीप चाचा एंड शादाब और अगर कोई ज्यादा फिट रहा हो तो आई थिंक आगा कैन डू इट ही इज अ रेगनाइज ऑलराउंडर इन डोमेस्टिक तो ही कैन बोल फ्यू ओवर्स या आई थिंक आगा इज अ मस्ट फॉर अ कपल ऑफ रीजंस um ही इज अ वेरी गुड फील्डर आई नॉक ऑन वुड आई हैव नेवर सीन हिम ड्रॉप अ कैच आई डोंट थिंक एंड द अदर थिंग इज Look, Satner is a big problem for Pakistan. I don't know if we're going into our are we talking about the New Zealand? Yeah, match? we'll be talking about Satner yeah. in a while. Satner yeah. is a big issue for us and he has historically done very well against us. I want the two best players of spin that we have on this team, Saud and Aha. And Aha is one of the only players we have on this team who actually reverse sweeps. He actually uses the 360 field. Um he's a confident player of spin and I think he is absolutely a must whether Look, bowling would be great and if they use him great but even if they don't he adds such a depth to our batting to where I'm not even sure that I would bring Shadab in. I mean you could bring Shadab in. I I I think it's not saying much but Osama has been bowling better than Shadab. Um Shadab does bring something to the batting. He does bring something to the fielding. I don't know how fit he is. I'm not sure but Aha is one I I pushed for before but it, especially against Santner. I mean this is not a small New Zealand team. They've got Saudi, they've got Bolt, they've got Henry and Santner. It's not. We good. don't know how many of those are injured though, because Henry B. Aaj just got hamstring pull. Oh, yeah. But yeah, chalo, good. Alhamdulillah. Um, <laughs> no, I don't mean any. Yeah, but you know, um, this is this is a, a it's a tricky team, and and I'm very very grateful that Fakhar has come in at the right time. You know, when we were having our Fakhar discussions before, the one thing we kept saying is he had three straight centuries against New Zealand. Now, granted, it wasn't this bowling attack, but many of the people who are in that New Zealand team are here now. so they have that memory of it he has that memory fond memory against them i think that will play a big psychological advantage for pakistan especially on a small ground like this where even his miss hits can go for boundaries 
Um, I think that's a huge thing. These are two teams that are going in opposite trajectories right now. New Zealand yeah. started very strong and they've been slipping. Pakistan was not very good in the beginning and we're kind of going up. And New Zealand is feeling the pressure. You can tell in today's match, their fielding was not good. They dropped catches, were missing run outs. Their ground fielding wasn't great. This is almost a do or die for New Zealand. We know it is for us. We're used to being in that position. New Zealand, not so much, especially without the cool calm headedness of Kane Williamson or, or some of these other guys. Um, I think we're ideally suited to this. Look, if it, we don't win, we don't win. But this is everything we could have hoped to have happened going into this match, both to us and for New Zealand, is transpiring. So it's up to us to take the lead and, and get it done. Hey, what you're talking about New Zealand feeling the pressure, you can see that they, in a, in a, in a regular situation, they would not have had Henry come in to bat. So yeah. Henry oh, got a oh, hamstring. Early, right? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they said that if you're talking about hamstring, bhi pull hua hai, just still going bad because the, those 15, 20, 30 extra runs for the last wicket partnership could turn yeah. out to be crucial yeah. in terms of net run rate. So, yeah. unko khud bhi lale pad hai, net run rate. Okay. So, that, that shows a plus unki injuries jo ho gai hai, morale yeah. down. Hai. So, our class is zyada settled. Hai. Yes, there are some concerns about you know spin department, but overall, batting can uh, hopefully Fakhar Zaman continues his, his uh, form. Uh, and, and as you're rightly saying, Rizwan was playing extraordinarily. Uh, Abdullah Shafiq was playing very well. So, but Babar has a century in him. It's coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and in 2019, he, he played a great knock. I mean, one of his best. Mm-hmm. Achha, uh, chale, baat hai, specifically, let's talk about New Zealand match. Ki, because uh, as we, we'll be, jab hum isko hum, uh, launch our episode, so after two days, ke baad, uh, hamara ye critical match New Zealand ke against Oka, which is going to determine whether we stay in the tournament or what our chances are. Now, the situation is that we have approximately in terms of net run rate, we have about 83 runs ka deficit hai, runs wise. Mm-hmm. So, if we beat New Zealand with a margin of 83 runs or chase down their target in about 35 overs, our net run rate match will be um, And then we won't be as worried about, you know, the next game as such. So, what yeah. approach hone chahiye? should we just sort of play aggressively and 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 try to win with a big margin? Yeah, shuru mein bas yehi hai ki aaj jeet jao aur fir aage dekh lenge ki fir aage kya hota hai ki kya approach hone chahiye hamare? Yeah, but we were talking about it. This is a Bangalore mein game hai. So this is an extreme uh, high scoring ground. Uh, hmm. So, the last team thi. वो देखो ना 6 तक तो आपके इफ्तिखार और सऊद हैं हम्म सातवें पे आ गए सो दैट्स गुड सो यू हैव स्टिल सेवन व्हाट आई वाज सजेस्टिंग आप इफ्तिखार और और आ गए ऑलरेडी है इंस्टेड ऑफ नवाज इंस्टेड ऑफ उसामा ब्रिंग शादाब बैक और बैटिंग आ जाएगी एट और वसीम को अभी हमने लिफ्ट नहीं कराई वो पता नहीं क्या कर रहा है उसने हेलीकॉप्टर शॉट देखा था मोहम्मद वो देखा था वो अच्छा साउथ अफ्रीका का या ही हैज स्किल्स तो बैक द बैटिंग प्ले फर्स्ट एंड शुवई जिस तरह पावर पे निकाल के ना दे दे शुड गो फॉर 350 बेंगलुरु में इट्स नॉट अ बिग डील तो जब आप ज्यादा स्कोर करोगे ना 350 का तो yeah. उसमें then you can get New Zealand out with a big deficit क्योंकि pressure होगा अगर आप 300 करोगे तो वो New Zealand की team hmm. काफी steady खेलती है हमारी तरह खेलती है they will be वो तो yeah वो तो warm up warm up match में भी हमने कोई 340 odd बना लिया था और उन्होंने easily chase कर लिया था right so, so, I think the perfect game होगा ना पाकिस्तान का bat first score hmm. 350 plus तो उससे pressure पड़ेगा and then they can get New Zealand out and hopefully get that magic number और यार still is not end of the world हमारे बाद फिर न्यूजीलैंड फिर श्रीलंका से भी खेलेगी राइट भी यू डोंट नो के जीतते भी हैं वो के नहीं क्या होगा अगर वो right, हार right. जो चांस कम है मगर उनका नेट रन रेट और गिर सकता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल और हमारे लिए बड़ी अच्छी बात है कि हम इंग्लैंड को उनके बाद खेल रहे हैं yeah. so, अगर हम देते हैं तो वी नो एग्जैक्टली कि अब हमें क्वालीफाई करने के लिए कितने मार्जिन से जीतना है यू नो सो वो आप भी क्या यही रेकमेंड करोगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटजी के टॉस जीते तो बैटिंग फर्स्ट या जो अगर आपको याद हो अफगानिस्तान वर्सेस श्रीलंका की गेम हुई थी इन द एशिया कप एंड अफगानिस्तान वाज ट्राइंग डेस्परेटली टू क्वालीफाई और नेट रन रेट का मसला था सो so, उन्होंने दे चोस टू चेस एंड दे वेरी वेरी नेली पुल्ड इट ऑफ वो एक आधे बॉल का उनका मिसहैप हो गया उनके साथ 
वरना सो एक एक चीज ये भी कुछ लोग समझते हैं कि भाई अगर आपको नेट रन रेट कैचअप करना है सो चेजिंग एक्चुअली इज इजियर दैट वे बिकॉज यू यू नो कि मुझे कितनी बॉलों पे चेज करना है वर्सेस ट्राइंग टू डिफेंड व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दिस या आई 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 हैव अ डिफरेंट टेक आई आई वुड चेस आई नो पाकिस्तान इज देयर नर्वस चेसर्स बट वी आई फील लाइक राइट नाउ बैटिंग इज आवर स्ट्रेंथ यस द साउथ अफ्रीका मैच वाज ग्रेट बट बैटिंग इज आवर स्ट्रेंथ एंड आई लाइक टू फिनिश द मैच ऑन आवर स्ट्रेंथ um and it's a small ground it's you know it it's it, it get that bowling first we'll get a chance to see what the pitch is doing get an idea and then i i think chasing is the way to go i i disagree about the shadab thing i think you know shadab's number one role is as a bowler and new zealand has got some big hitters at the top they've got a pretty good batting lineup and your frontline spinner if he's not bowling well why not have someone who can bowl better i know ki shadab can bat his batting is far superior to osama's but when you got so much depth in your batting how much difference is one shadab going to make i feel like you know especially with aha in the mix so i i shadab has not shown me anything from a bowling standpoint in this entire world cup osama has actually shown a little bit neither of them have been great but if you're talking yeah. about getting wickets i do think osama is a little bit better than shadab and the number one thing is it's our bowler we don't have a class spin bowler that is probably the biggest oversight from the pcb which we can talk about later okay, you've yeah. known for years you're playing a world cup in india and you know we've been spoiled having had yasir shah and saklan mushtaq and you know um ajmal and now we're just without a spinner yeah. that's a, a discussion for another day but with what we have i think osama is a better spin option than shahzab and and it's a hard decision i, I don't think you can go wrong with shahzab yeah. but if i had to choose the two i want the bowler to be uh my strength because bowling has been a weakness for us you know we are where we are mainly because of our bowling not the batting you know the batting has collapsed here and there but the batting has been stronger of the two suits one thing i just want to quickly point out ki yaad hai bilkul shuru mein i said that we are going to be playing england last we have a week to sit and watch how everything settles and then we'll know exactly what we need to do and i felt like that would be a low pressure match for england because they would already have qualified for the semi finals turns out it's a low pressure match because they're already out except right. for the fact that England now knows that the top i think seven or eight teams will qualify for the ICC yeah, yeah. trophy and so now England does have renewed motivation to actually beat us us being the hosts we're already in um right. so it's a little issue but but the, it's it the schedule could not have been better for us with regards mm -hmm. to what we knowing what we have to do we can't win it all in one match you know so i'm not huge on saying let's win it in 35 overs or whatever get the win get the win um and as you get closer to the win like we did in against bangladesh then you put your foot on the accelerator but the number one thing is get through because if you lose this match it's all over anyways right right so first go for the win secure a win aur agar us situation mein aa jate hain sir bangladesh ke against bhi bui tarah exactly yeah to hum keh rahe the ki yaar jeeto jab humne dekha ki yaar ab humne 200 mein kar liya hai aur hamari opening mein humne 100 run ka partnership de diya hai then go for it because us waqt par aapka risk of losing jo hai bahut minimize ho chuka ho exactly yes so wohi approach hai um jo अगेन जो डिबेट है उसामा वर्सेस शादाब मैं क्विकली अपना भी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दे दूं मेरे हिसाब से तो अगर अभी भी आई नो कि अब्रार को आपने ट्राई नहीं किया हुआ बट फॉर मी ही इज अ स्पेशलिस्ट स्पिनर वो टेस्ट मैच खेल चुका है जो जो बंदा टेस्ट मैच खेल लेता है उसमें ज्यादा कंट्रोल होता है सो ही इज अ स्पेशलिस्ट स्पिनर आई वुड स्टिल इफ वी कैन फाइंड अ वे टू गेट एम इन किसी की थोड़ी सी भी तबीयत खराब हो उसको सिट एम आउट वैसे ही मैचेस कितने रह गए हैं सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू नॉट गो नी प्लेंग हसन अली फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट इफ यू फाउंड आउट के नहीं आप you know wasim junior is doing very well if hasan azri is not going to play for the rest of the tournament sit hasan ali out or sit somebody else out uh yeah jisko bhi thoda sa bukhar hai ya kuch hai so there's a way nobody is going to report their illnesses to the team i think the only player who can get out of this 15 is nawaz nawaz ko nikal do nawaz ka bhi i don't think nawaz going to should play come back so kisi ek ko to aap nikal hi sakte ho fir and you can try because agar hum bar bar yahi keh rahe hain ki yaar spin hamari is, is a liability hamare liye spin hota hai ki yaar over nikal do hmm jabki hame in top teams ko harane ke liye hame wickets leni padengi so wickets spin ki zabardast hai ki iftikhar ahmed se 10 over karwa rahe ho aap log ke so that's my other question but don't forget that in the 92 world cup amar sahil was bowling 10 overs ijaz ahmed who is the ugliest bowler he was a great batsman his form was so ugly he was bowling full quotas right. in some of the matches so you do what you right. have to do but i i agree you know yeah usme to ye tha na ki wasim aur aapka aqib jawed jo hai ya even bushi wo teen aise form mein the ki wo baaki jo bowlers nahi bhi kar rahe the kuch to wohi aake wickets nikal lete about agar nahi aapne abrar ko rakhna usama versus shadab i know it's very debatable it's a gray area 
my vote slightly would you know go with mudassir uh, on this because ya to agar usama ki bahut achhi performance hoti agar bahut achhi performance hoti i would have said yes but yahi hai ke he is giving last match he gave like 60 66. 65 runs yeah 66 right uh, he he did now. take one wicket he did take a few catches like in ये 60 नहीं देगा ये 70 दे देगा सो ये 10 एडिशनल रन्स दे देगा आई थिंक शदार इज आल्सो गिविंग 55 60 बट आई मीन आई डोंट फील स्ट्रांग इट आई आई थिंक आदर वे देयर इक्वली या इक्वली बैड बेसिकली वन ऑफ देम हैज टेकन मोर विकेट्स बट ऑनेस्टली आई मीन इफ दे चूज शदाब ओवर सम दैट्स फाइन शदाब इज अ मच बेटर फील्डर बैटिंग में और बैटिंग में ये साउथ अफ्रीका के गेम में उसने जो उसकी क्रूशियल उसकी इनिंग्स थी जब हमारा कलैप्स हो गया था उसकी जो इनिंग थी साउथ शकील के साथ दैट गिव अस अ रिस्पेक्टेबल टारगेट यार ये पिच बहुत जबरदस्त है तो शादा कर सकता है इस पे स्कोर ये जो ग्राउंड है ना स्पेशली इफ वी डू एंड अप चेसिंग अ बिग टोटल हैविंग द डेप्थ के इस गेम के लिए शादा आपको खिला दे मेरा तो ख्याल है खिला दे तो आपके ख्याल है कि हम एडवांटेज होगा कि हम बेंगलुरु में खेल चुके हैं जबकि न्यूजीलैंड वुड बी प्लेइंग इट्स फर्स्ट गेम उसका थोड़ा ऑल दो जाहिर है आईपीएल का एक्सपीरियंस है इन सब न्यूजीलैंड प्लेयर्स को बट हमें फिर भी एक एक मैच एक्सपीरियंस अभी हुआ है रिसेंटली तो उसका थोड़ा बहुत एडवांटेज होना चाहिए और सबसे बड़ा एडवांटेज ये है कि हम ये स्टूपिड माइंडसेट के साथ नहीं जाएंगे वो हो गया 20 290 बना लो दैट्स इनफ तो वी लॉस्ट इन दैट गेम राइट 290 इज नॉट वी गोना लूज द गेम सो दे नो के यू हैव टू स्कोर 3 30 50 50 और समथिंग और न्यूजीलैंड के बॉलर्स को मार पिट रही है काफी है ना ऑस्ट्रेलिया ने काफी 380 प्लस की है हमने वार्म अप मैच के अंदर जहां पे उनकी ए टीम खेल रही थी आई मीन उनके सारे बॉलर्स थे हमने उनको भी हमने तकरीबन 350 फिफ्टी और रन बनाए थे सो so, उनकी बॉलिंग में कुछ इतना जबकि साउथ अफ्रीका की बड़ी अच्छी बॉलिंग है उसको अगर हम टू एटी ऑलमोस्ट थ्री कर सकते थे तो इनकी बॉलिंग को भी हम टैकल कर सकते हैं uh, जो लास्ट टाइम हमारा एक्सपीरियंस हुआ था जैम्पा ने हमें बड़ा तंग किया था बेंगलुरु में राइट सो इवन दो आप कह रहे हैं कि स्पिन का शायद इतना अमल दखल ना हो बिकॉज़ ऑफ द शॉर्ट बाउंड्रीज बट सरप्राइजिंगली जैम्पर टुक अ लॉट ऑफ विकेट्स अगेंस्ट अस सो वो हमने हुआ क्या था तो अगेन पहली बात ये ओवरऑल ना 50 50 चल रहा है बैटिंग फर्स्ट और चेजिंग कोई इतना एडवांटेज नहीं है इस वर्ल्ड कप में उस दिन ये हुआ था कि कुछ इंडियन मैंने सुना है ये लोग ये कहते हैं कि इज ऑलवेज गुड टू बैट फर्स्ट क्योंकि रात में ना लाइट्स में एक डिसएडवांटेज होता है ऑलरेडी तो अगेन ये थेरियां होती हैं पोस्ट गेम वो कह रहे जैम्पा उस दिन ड्यू था तो बॉल स्किड हो रहा था तो तो सम कुछ पिचों पे ये होता है कि मगर ये कि ड्यू से तो स्पिन खराब होती है तो आई एम नॉट श्योर मगर इंडिया में यही समझा जाता है कि लाइट्स में ना थोड़ा डिसएडवांटेज होता है बैटिंग सेकंड में और बैटिंग फर्स्ट क्योंकि पिचेज अच्छी पिच हो तो बैट फर्स्ट क्यों लेकिन इंडिया ने तो सारे चेज किए हैं इंडिया ने तो ऑलमोस्ट सारे चेज किए हैं मगर इंडिया क्योंकि आउट बहुत जबरदस्त कर रहा है यार दे आर दे आर गेटिंग टीम्स आउट सच अ लो स्कोर 270 50 200 ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो इंडिया ने टेस्ट ही नहीं हुआ ना कोई और इंडिया के खिलाफ किसी ने 300 350 भी नहीं किया अभी तो एंड एंड आई थिंक जैम्पर्स सक्सेस इज मोर रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ हाउ ही बैट रादर देन हाउ ही बोल्स एंड एंड आई मीन लुक टू से दैट ए स्पिनर डिड वेल हियर सो वी कैन is operates under the assumption that our spinners actually have some quality to them and sadly they don't yeah. so, um, quality to have form nahi hai i mean quality uh, bhi chalo thoda debatable ho sakta hai but form mein to clearly form. they are struggling yeah. um chale ek final question um uh, overall ab jo aap dekh rahe hain um uh, chacha ko humne 10 over diye hain last time uh, against bangladesh aur uh, decent performance thi usne wicket bhi li economical bhi tha uh do you think this is a sustainable model for us going forward ke we can just rely on aga because that that opens up you know uh, an extra space for a batter like aga salman yeah do you think it's a risky thing to have for other remaining two games ke bhi chacha ko hum 10 over ke liye usko depend kar rahe hain usne usko over dena shuru kiya australian jo australia ka jab itni buri pitai shuru hui thi fast bowlers ki to he ended up uh, like 38 runs 32 runs in seven overs against australia that was a big deal to abhi jo team ki jo combination hai ya jis tarah game chal rahe hain इफ्तार इज डूइंग डिसेंट जॉब आप क्या ट्राई करोगे और ना आप ये ना कोई स्पिनर खिला सकते हो इस वक्त इट्स नॉट अ लॉन्ग टर्म सोल्यूशन बट वर्ल्ड कप में दूसरा ऑप्शन ये तो आप आगे को ट्राई कर लो एक दो ओवर देखो हाउ ही बोल इधर वे I I think the fact that they're trying him to uh open the bowling is is actually a good look he's not getting hit for too many runs and he's taking wickets yeah. what more can you ask for uh-huh. New Zealand has got some big hitting lefties and so at the top of the order i mean this is yeah. when you wish you had a hafiz or an amad wasim but we don't um but you know i mean if the khar until he gets hit out of the attack yeah. until he shows that he's not re- uh, restricting or taking wickets 
I would persist with him. But I hope that when you, they have their big hitting lefties, that the team management or the strategy guys realize off spin is the way to go. And so this may be one where you have Iftikhar and Aha both bowling well. Um, because, the, again, it's all about wickets. If, if those New Zealand big hitters take off, it's over, you know. Um, so that's that. I think that's important. I think, uh, and, and again, Mohamed Hussein is much better at the middle and the back half of the innings rather than opening. Yeah. So hmm. not save him if you can do that. I think it's it's actually worked out well. I think it's a good strategy. Yeah. One thing we discussed is Rauf, although back end is very good bowling, but when we introduced him in the start, he has a lot of fun. I think uh, he's trying, he's not getting the length and he's trying to get the pace, but because the pitch is good. So what do we think about him? He's doing well at the back end. I mean, middle or back end, even South Africa against when he came back, he had a lot of good chance to get the wickets. What can we do about that? Do you think... Rauf is not a fault. He is a very fast baller. He can give the ball in India. He can sit in the power play. Then he needs some protection. If there is a good opener for the first crew, if there is a good opener for the first crew, if there is a good opener for the first crew, if there is a good opener for the first crew, if there is a good opener, Ideally, Rauf should not bowl at all in power play. Uh, he should come after power play or ideally after uh, like like after 10-15 overs. But we have no depth in this bowling. Mein to, mm. We have to use it. But I think it's not power play. If yes, Shaheen is out, kar deta, then it's a, the game changes. Just around Bangladesh against Rauf. Then Rauf is coming, that's a different ball game. Mm. Uh, to, it, he, can, he, can be, he can come in for an over or two just to keep on the pressure. I think the uh, team has, uh, uh, Babar has realized and he's already doing it. So one thing about Rauf we used to see in the last couple of years when he was really at his peak and looked very good, he had that change of pace. He had the slow bouncer and he Cross stopped team. bowling that. He stopped bowling that. And so, you know, you can bowl as fast as you can. If there's no variety, yeah. then, you know, the faster it comes, the faster it goes. But if you introduce... Uh, Changes of pace, which the Indian bowlers do very well, yeah. and some of the others, you're going to get success. You know, on these, these are not pitches that are going to help you very much. So you have to be creative. You have to think out of the box. And and Rolf was doing that. I'm not sure why he stopped. Um, you would think again. Normally, management would tell him this. I, I don't know why they're not. But um, I agree. That's another reason why. You know, going back to the point we were talking about, if Tahar opening the bowling, it does save our pace bowlers who are notoriously not doing well in the opening uh, power play to come in when they do best in the middle and in the end. So Right. And it's, it's an out-of-the-box kind of a novel kind of an approach yeah. as well. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, yeah. openers are mentally prepared to face fast bowling. Yeah. So, when you get a spinner, you get a little bit confused. You have to attack or defend. Karna hai. Look at what Fakhar does when an opening spinner comes against him. He gets completely just discombobulated. I hope they don't throw Santner at him, but, you know, <laughs> or, or Rachin. But right, right, right. On a, on a uh, brighter note, the best uh, be, uh, death bowling economy is Pakistan and India. Ki hai. India ki na just slightly uh, is better than Pakistan. Hmm. Uh, but they have the best uh, like uh, wickets and you know uh, uh, strike strike rate or economy. Uh, so Pakistan hmm. is bowling really well uh, at the death. So, right, right, right. Uh, nee. Open bowling thodi improve ho jaye na power play. Hmm. Uh, ah, nee, ma- depth depth me to aapki especially Vasim Junior ki introduction ke baad jo hmm. hai jis tarah ki uski ball reverse kar rahi hai. Yeah. Uh, it was a very pleasant surprise. Uh, you know, uh, many of us were not expecting ki wo itna acha wapas come back karke karega. But I yeah. think safe to say ki uh, ab Hasan Ali you don't see him coming back in the next game, right? It's it's Vasim Junior yeah, rather. Yeah. Than- but like he, he didn't do that poorly, but yeah, uh, he, he did was, okay. He was getting the job. Yeah, he done. did fine. He did no? fine. But like Jo Jasra Vasim ki ab reverse ho rahi hai, oh, just now. Yeah. Chale ji, iske saath hi. Thank you very much. Um, hope ke aap log bhi hamari tarah ek you know cautiously or cautiously optimistic hain. Uh, there was a time ke jab zahir hai our hopes were down, uh, depression thi, disappointment thi. But uh, the last few days have been good for us. We had. Uh, the body language was really good against South Africa. Unfortunately, we couldn't cross the hurdle, but then Bangladesh ke against a, a comprehensive win. And some of the other games have helped us as well. The Australia versus New Zealand game, the South Africa versus New Zealand game. So a couple of things uh, working in our favor as well. So hopefully 
جو ہم کہہ رہے ہیں قدرت کا نظام یا ڈیوائن انٹروینشن اٹس کو کنٹینیو ان آ فیور اور ہم خود بھی اسی طرح اچھا پرفارم کریں گے اینڈ ہوپ فلی ول ہیو مور یو نو گڈ نیوز ٹو شیئر ود یو اینڈ ڈسکس ود یو تو اس کے ساتھ ہی آپ سے مدثر آصف اور سائن اجازت چاہتے ہیں تھینک یو ویری مچ پاکستان زندہ